Uh, welcome to all. Uh, today we are going to discuss about Hive table creation using complex data type. So normally we will be creating the tables based on the two types of ways, internal and external, with all the normal file formats. Here we have the file with the different complex data included. So we are going to create a table based on that, and uh, as I mentioned, that uh, data types. So. Here you can see this is the table content. Okay, these are all the text file only, but that internally we have created the file with some different method. So this is an example for the array table. So array files having one column with combine. Okay, so we need to fish out and making some table operations. Here like that key value pair operation will be stored in one column as well in struct they will be stored into the struct model with multiple data types in the same column so everything we are going to uh, make it out now first we will create yeah database complex data okay and i'm going to set Hive engine equal to spark and use complex data database. Okay, and the same data I have already loaded here with the three folders, everyone having the same files. Okay, like that. So now I'm going to create one by one on the table based on the files and how we need to retrieve it like that. Okay, first we will be going to create a map table. Create the external table. Um, map table and uh, here we have the data width um id name and salary and some com combined values mm, this is like a key and value we will be going to create now create external table map table ID int comma name as string comma salary the int okay so no problem we'll be creating as an int value only and then we'll be going to approach the data to the map table with First value will be coming as an array. This is go with the key value pair concept. So we need to create this as an array value, array files. So array of uh, string we need to declare and we need to provide the column as well, right? This is the data that I mentioned. So column I will be provided as there is the ABC mm, ID name salary sample sample value something is provided okay and then here we have the key value pair concept so we need to create the map, uh, data with map variable here this will be a PF values they have mentioned employee PF and normal PF they have mentioned the key value pair concept so I'm going to approach here with uh, EMP um, PF and the data type should be go with first string and then integer string comma integer okay and finally the city is available the 
okay so these are the column name i mentioned i forgot to provide okay so column we have declared with the column name to the table then we need to provide row format delimiter fields terminator by the fees we need to determine it by comma only right so comma and we have stored the data with the collection concept and map value so collections collection items terminated by the collection will become with dollar symbol so i declare with dollar symbol and then we have the value as well map keys so i just mentioned the map keys terminated by hash okay and then i need to provide the location the location is with the map value so this is my location okay i provide okay now the table is created next i'm going to return the data select star from map table here you can see the value with the array file as well as the key value of the concept so here the map will be integrated with both pf as a key and value for 500 another one epf for the key and value for 200 they will be stored so now we need to return the data for particular one thing okay mm. so this is i have mentioned as a empf so i need to retrieve the particular cost select emp pf and i need to provide with um, key is a pf here both will be having the pf so i am declaring pf from map table yeah we can get it out so pf value for the key for pf we have two values same command i'm going to approach with epf okay so epf having only one column data so 200 will be provided here second row it doesn't mention any epf value so it's providing as a null okay now we are going to create a next table I uh, will go with array. So I think that also same ID name, uh, salary, date, location. So here from here I am going to create it. Array table ID name, salary, and then. We have for I just feel we don't have any map values here, so I just skip that map here and the city we have ID name, some sample data, and city ID name, salary ID name salary sample values for array and then city so row format delimiter fields terminated by comma collection items terminated by dollar symbol and we didn't mention any map key value so i just skip that and location is in hdfs i have stored the value array file in array direct so i just move that 
okay now the table is created we need to retrieve the data from now mm. so here the table name is array file array table so select start from array table okay now we will be returning the data now in particular record we need to return right that's we need to do first now so same command i just declare with sample as a value for that array table array columns and i provide array will be start from zero so if i need to return the first record i need to declare as a zero value which means now it's going to interact the data with first a and d will be provide the output i guess okay now we are getting the output properly if we need to get the second value means we need to provide as a one okay b and f we are getting the output okay next we are going to create a third table stack fields okay, in stack fields we have the value with array as well as the map and the location will be go with stack fields stack fields and map and uh, array we have the difference we need to know right so array will go with single order and same data type and map data type will go with key and value pair and a stack field will go with uh, multiple data type. that's the difference so here you can see this one the stack value has two strings and one integer value they will be it will be available okay now we are going to create a table and return the data for that as well so struct table we have the data same id name salary uh, something mm, so we can easily take, take from map table oh. i'll use the struct table id name salary and sample value they will be provided as array and then map will be provided with the epf and then the city location they have provided so we need to create the struct field for that particular city locations only now okay so that's like as there will be mentions of values uh, city address pin code I guess and uh, AP yeah this is a state so they have mentioned three things location uh, sorry city and uh, state and then pin code for that so here I just provided here so till now map was created after that we need to create with only truck field output so these are all this address so i will be provided as address as a key sorry column common value based on that i'm going to create with truck field struct and providing that first one is city so same is available okay that should that's go with string value second is available with our state so state string the third is available with pin numbers so pin code pin code is one two three six digits is available so we will be mentioned as a big int okay so row format we need to declare as well collection items we need to declare as well map values map key also we need to declare because this value will be having the collections with the dollar symbol even for struct and array map key value will be go with hash columns so everything we have declared and finally we forget to change the column name change, sorry directory
So this is the directory. Simply we can mention as a struct. Safety. Okay. Something is going to be long. Okay, so I forget to provide that close. Yeah, correct. We have open here this symbol, so we need to close that as well. Okay, now we have declares simple. We will be return the data. Select store from extract table. Okay, everything will be combined together. So already we have practiced with this normal struct field values. Now we will be going to check with struct, sorry, uh, array and map values. Now we are going to check with struct field, okay. So select, um, this is the struct value we have declared as address. So based on that, I need to return the data. So address, okay, struct field will we go with dots operator. And I need, I would like to retry city comma address dot pin numbers both i would like to write right now okay so city and pin number we will be retrieved hyderabad and bangalore they have mentioned simple and get the output if i need to retrieve for the state as well I can mention as a state. Okay, everything will be returned. There's a comma. Okay. I hope now you understand how to create the table in Hive using these three types of data. Okay. Yeah. Bye.